Okay, so time for the next iPad review. And I say iPad because it's not an iDog. It's in the same family and it's made by the same company. And it is... Focus. The IC or iPenguin if you live in other territories. And I believe, let me see, it says on the back, the back side, when it came out, there's the speaker, came out in 2006, I always thought it was 2007 for some odd reason, I think it was in other territories. Anyway, there's the microphone, speaker grill, reset button, on the back that's where it runs on three AAAs, it moves, it like slightly rotates. There's the tail switch for muting and unmuting and aggravating it. Why you want to do that, I have no idea. Um, like the feet, the feet help it move like, like that. The port for plugging in is on the silver trim, which is a kind of a new thing. The flippers move. The button is its beak. And the lights are not on its face, but they're on its belly. And I haven't played with this in a long, long time. And my camera does not want to focus, good lord. It came with a cord, but I don't have the exact cord that it came with, I don't think. It came with a cord similar to this, but it had a flat end as opposed to the end with the uh, little part right here for the iDog dance. But I'm going to play some music first. Let's see what personality has. Lights are not show up, kind of blurry. That's how you give it attention by pressing its beak. Oh, it's in excited mode. I forgot all about that. Oh my god. I forgot all about that. You can see it move. Now it's basically just another iPad, so. I'm going to shut up and play some music for it. And it thinks that there's some music going on right now. Plays a little sound when you plug it in. Alright. And as per usual, it's going to be video game music because I usually I usually record on, this, on the side of safety and not play any music that has lyrics because that's literally the last thing I need. It's a copyright strike. So, three... Two, one, go. Now there is no pink LED in the middle. This mainly borrowed a lot of LEDs from the... Or no, I think it's the other way around. The iDog re-release would later borrow a lot of LED patterns from the IC. Because it would, it would later have that not... What is it? It would later not have the pink LED in the middle, and it would have similar patterns. That's what I wanted to say. But yeah, you can see its flippers are moving. It's lighting up. And again, if you were a nearby speaker, you could always have it listen with its microphone on top of its head. Now there was actually, it's, it's nothing more than accessories that came with it. I never got this one, but there was a special bundle that was an IC with a scarf. And foot warmers, I believe. You could not buy that separately. You had to buy the bundle. And I rarely ever see that pop up on Amazon or, or eBay for that matter. It's very rare for some odd reason. Not, not the most rarest thing out there, but it's kind of rare. I believe the iDog amps would use a lot of these 
light patterns. I think someone in the comments of my Hasbro iDog 2005 video said that, if I remember correctly. And yeah, like I said, you, you can mute it by pressing on its tail, like that. Just don't leave it like that for the long for the longest time, or it'll get very angry. You can hear the motors, sort of. The wires like moving along with it right there. And that's going to do it for my little showcase slash review thing of the IC slash Eye Penguin. Not the most exciting review I know. But I just wanted to showcase what it does. And I'm going to turn it off. Say goodbye, IC. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Earthworm Joe 94 out.